Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk about things like cloud security and artificial intelligence uh, every, on a weekly basis. Uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified of new videos and you get updated whenever I upload new information. So uh, today's video, guys, is about a very important topic, which is uh, doing security reviews of AWS using free cloud security software. You know, uh, AWS is a very, very common becoming it's it's very very common nowadays right a lot of people i know they have aws infrastructure and a common ask is they want to do like an audit a complete audit or a security review of the aws accounts so how do we go about it now initially if you've seen my earlier videos i've talked about using cloud security posture management tools right so you can do that but unfortunately they are not free right or you can use native tools in aws like security hub uh, again it's it's not very expensive but it's not like uh, what do you call it? it's not free so assuming you don't have a budget so you have like a security audit coming up and you want to proactively do a security review of your aws infrastructure uh what do we do about it guys so i want to talk about a very like nice awesome tool which is there which is called aws prowler prowler is a completely free cloud security tool it's open source and it's built for auditing aws accounts it has over like I think 300 checks already present. It will check against PCI, ISO, GDPR. I mean, it's a seriously cool tool which you can use and you can run it from the command line and it will generate like a complete security audit report of your infrastructure. So let's, instead of me just talking about it, let us let me just take a look at it. Let me show you how it works and how you can use it to implement in your infrastructure. So this is what I wanted to tell you about. This is the Prowler URL. I'll put it in the description of the video also. So this is basically where you go and download Prowler. You just have to go get clone. So Prowler, like I told you, it's like it will check against all these standards and it does around 200 checks, which are already there. Uh, you can take a complete look at it. Uh, this is how the architecture is. I mean, there are a number of ways you can run it. I'm going to run it from the command line. Like, yeah, like, like I said, from your workstation, you can even create an EC2 instance within your AWS account or some any like to a container, cloud shell. Like it's very, very, there are numerous options already available for running crawler okay so and guys one thing please you have to do is make sure these dependencies are installed usually can you can just run it from the command line so what will this what will it do is it's going to install all the dependencies like aws cli and like uh, i think detect secrets and everything and then it's going to copy uh, this into your uh, what do you call the desktop from where you can run crawler okay just make sure that is there so I'm, I'm assuming you've already installed the dependency. Just run this command on your environment. And one thing which you have to do is, so okay, once you've done it, you need to create a user because um, what do you call, uh, Prowler will need credentials to authenticate to your account, right? So let's go and create a user for Prowler, which it will use, okay? Let's go it. That's been looking, okay. So this is a test account, which I made just for this demo. So let's go ahead and create a user here. Let's call it Prowler user. Okay, guys, so you're gonna create a programmatic access, okay? Because Prowler needs an access key and a secret key because it's gonna do it from there. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna attach the policy directly. I'm gonna give it administrator access because I do, just wanna do a quick and clean demo here. Uh, but actually, if you go down, you can actually see uh, the permissions which are required. These are the permissions. So you wanna, in your production environment, you don't want to give it full admin access, just give it these policies. So its access is restricted already. Got it? Okay, here we go. So we don't need to give any tags. And yeah, okay, we can go ahead and create the user. So guys, this is the access key. I need to copy this. Let me just copy this onto my environment. Yeah. And the secret key will show. And let's copy this also. Okay. I'm going to delete this user. So in case you're thinking, why am I showing you the secret key? So don't worry about it. <laughs> After once I've done it. Okay. So once you've done this, you're in a good state to go. And you can actually uh, run Prowler now from your environment. Okay, guys. So let's go to Cloud Shell and use it to run Prowler. This is usually helpful if you... Uh, what do you call don't want to install the dependencies or something so anyways this is the order let me just install prowler here oh sorry let's copy okay okay 
Okay, so I've already pre-configured the environment. Let's see if the crawler runs. Let me. Yeah, it's already there. Uh, guys, just remember before you're running crawler, you will need to do AWS configure. Uh, sorry, configure. Yeah, I've already configured it. Yeah, it's already present there. You will have to put in your, the, the access key and the secret key, which we talked about. So anyways, let's run crawler. You need to run this command. If you want to generate an HTML report or say a CSV or a JSON, you can put the command there and then run it. So if I've done everything correctly, crawler should start running and scanning the AWS account. Ah, uh, yes, it's running. Okay, awesome. So as you can, this is, so you can see guys, this is gonna run for some time now. I mean, it can take like hours depending on the size of your AWS account and how many services you have running because believe it scans everything and I've given it like full access. So it's gonna find, I'm sure it will find lots of issues because this is just a dummy demo account which I've made. I'm sure it will find lots and lots of issues. So uh, once you've generated it guys, it will create a folder called output in which you will find your file and it looks like this, the HTML file. This is usually, a, the HTML and the CSV are usually the best output files which I've seen. And it will really give you a great idea about your environment. And the best thing is, like I said, it's completely free. Okay, so let's me close this demo now. Thanks. I hope that this video was useful to you now. And you got an appreciation for how Prowler works and how you can use it to actually audit your AWS accounts and get a good idea of how your infrastructure is working. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to tell you guys. So please, if you did like this video, please do like it and subscribe to this channel. So you get notified of new videos. If you have any issues with running Prowler, uh, do mention in the, what do you call, in the uh, comment section. And I'll try to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.